<laughs> Meat bicycle. Hello everybody, welcome back to another Ultimate Vault Hunter mode legendary weapon guide here on Borderlands the pre-sequel. This is the series where I take a certain legendary weapon from the game and uh, then proceed to uh, bring it to you guys, show you it and uh, basically review what it's all about. So I'll tell you things like how to get it, um, any special stats, uh, trivia, notes, things like that. Uh, have a closer look at it and then uh, go and give it a try out and uh, give my opinions on it. So yeah, that is uh, basically what the legendary weapon guides are all about. Done plenty of these now, so uh, you guys should know by now what we're doing here. Uh, and today we're going to be looking at the legendary uh, laser weapon, the Absolute Zero, which was uh, added into the Claptastic Voyage DLC when that came out. So uh, yeah, without further ado, we'll get on with the guide and we'll start off as always by letting you guys know how to get your hands on the Absolute Zero. Well, this is exactly how you get it and I feel like I've been saying this a lot lately in these uh, legendary weapon guides. But to get the Absolute Zero, you uh, unfortunately can only obtain it by uh, a random loot source. So uh, there is no designated boss drop for this, uh, like I said, as with many things in the pre-sequel. Um, so that means, of course, as always, you can find them in vending machines randomly. Um, they can also be obtained by random world drops uh, from bosses, ultimate badasses, things like that. Anything with a loot pool, which is where I am right now um, at Shadow Trap doing the, uh, the classic EOS farming glitch. Um, and there you go, it's popped out just there, but also you can get it from the grinder as well um, using the recipe of uh, two legendary weapons and a purple laser weapon. But like I said, I've got it from EOS right here um, when you uh, take the H source from Shadow Trap and uh, it popped out nicely. So uh, yeah, there you go. Um, and as you can see, giving it a little bit of a try out right now. Um, it is a, uh, a proper laser weapon, um, by proper laser weapon, I mean it actually shoots out a laser beam, there's a lot of lasers that shoot out discs and balls and all sorts of things. Um, I like these, uh, they remind me of the Thorny Old Rosie um, and Mox's um, Viper Pulse, which is my favourite types of lasers. Uh, but yeah, there you go, that is exactly how to get the uh, Absolute Zero laser, so uh, let's take a closer look at it. And here we are, back in Concordia then, so uh, when you bring up the uh, overview of it, take a closer look, this is what it actually looks like. Um, so like I said, this is the Absolute Zero, it's a legendary laser weapon manufactured by Maliwan and added into the Clap uh, Claptastic Voyage DLC. Special weapon effects, the red text says in this universe there is only one absolute, which is actually a, a reference, uh, like most of these red texts uh, are on the weapons, I'll go into that a little bit later. Um, this always comes in the cryo element, so you cannot get it in any other element but uh, cryo. Um, it has greatly reduced magazine size, increased damage and slightly higher elemental effect chance. Um, usage and description according to the wiki it says the absolute zero excels at freezing targets at close range. It has a short to medium effective range, high freeze chance and high rate of fire and a large ammo pool. Um, that is very true as well. I've noticed before you cannot do long distance um, shots from this. If you stand too far away from an enemy, you know, it's no sniper. The beam will not go far enough and it will not... Um, hurt them but medium to close range is very good and uh, it's very fast firing um, because it's a constant beam um, but uh, the high freeze chance is what makes it good what freezing an enemy means they cannot attack you all over elements cryo shock things like that they all have effects on enemies that are quite beneficial but nothing's better in this game than ice freezing them solid means they can't attack you and it also means they get uh, a lot more damage um, with explosive weapons as well which is very handy if you've got an explosive weapon to switch to um, in the notes section it says Wilhelm's skill laser focus increases laser magazine size by flat values. Um, so at 5 to 5 and 10 to 5 it doubles and triples the absolute zero's magazine size respectively. Very handy there because uh, like I said in the red text, um, sorry in the special weapon effects, um, it has greatly reduced magazine size. So uh, Wilhelm's laser focus skill will make your magazine size a lot bigger. Claptrap, uh, Claptrap has explosive skills, load and explode, start with a bang, that synergize directly with frequent reloads, which in turn synergize with the fact that the frozen enemies take increased explosive damage. Just got into that. Uh, and Nisha has skills like Quick Shot and Hell's Coming With Me that grant significant bonus upon reloading. 
So, trivia, like I said, the uh, red text is actually a reference to Mr. Freeze, which is a classic supervillain um, in the Batman comics. Uh, the full quote is, in this universe there is only one absolute, everything freezes. So, uh, that's where that comes from. So, that's all you need to know about the Absolute Zero. Let's compare it to a uh, other legendary weapon and uh, see what it, uh, how it compares. And the weapon I've decided to choose to compare it with uh, is the legendary Hyperion laser, the Longest Yard, which again comes from the Claptastic Voyage DLC, where you can pick it up from uh, to Earworm. Um, so there, yeah, as you can see, there is the stats uh, side by side. Um, as you can see, there are a few more green arrows on the Longest Yard than the Absolute Zero. Uh, the base damage of the uh, Longest Yard is actually three times higher um, than the absolute zero but obviously that's because um, the longest shot is a uh, more of a slower firing weapon so you need to get more damage um, whereas the absolute zero can just pile it straight in very quick um, accuracy the longest shot is the most accurate laser in the game it's a hundred so uh, nothing will compare to that but 80 accuracy not bad really for a laser um, especially like I mentioned it's mediums close range so uh, if you've got an 80 accuracy at mediums close range you're pretty much guaranteed to uh, hit anything in front of you as long as you fire right uh, now this is where the uh, Absolute Zero takes over the Longest Yard on the Fire Rate 10.2 compared to 0 0.8, so it's ridiculously um, a lot quicker. Like I said, that's because it's a constant firing beam. Um, the reload speed is uh, only 1.6, which is a full second faster than the Longest Yard. Very handy when you're uh, in medium to close range, you need to reload quicker. Um, and as you can see, the magazine size is a lot, lot less. 12 is not a massive amount, um, especially for a constant firing laser. But like I said in the notes, it does tell you a few ways to, uh, especially with a good Wilhelm uh, build, to get that magazine size right up and then it makes you fire it for longer. Now this is, again, where uh, we've already mentioned the Absolute Zero really comes into effect. It has a 9161 freeze damage per second chance um, and... Uh, that is pretty damn good really, um, well the damage anyway, uh, the freeze chance is half of the longest yard though so <clears throat> it really is a lot better to have a better chance of freezing them but uh, that's 21.2% freeze chance with a much fast firing weapon um, so although it looks a lot worse than the longest yard because you can get land more shots quicker it makes it a hell of a lot better. Um, so yeah, there you go. That is everything you need to know about the Absolute Zero, how it compares, where to get it from, what it's all about. So of course, as always, let's go take it out into the field, give it a try out, and I'll let you guys know what I think of it. So I've decided to take this into uh, the alien-looking um, Elysia map, um, pretty much because there's some really tough enemies in here. Not only are these Lost Legion guys pretty... Uh, tough you've also got the eternals in here um, there's an eternal ultimate these guys are very tough I really wanted to put this weapon through its paces here there's a mix between uh, um, lost legion guys and um, aliens in here um, Meridian guardians things like that um, and also a big fast firing turret so uh, yeah definitely a perfect um, training ground um, and testing ground should I say so as you can see this thing is absolutely ripping through and everything uh, that moves I have got um, Wolf and Saint out as well as you can see um, they are just here to assist me uh, mainly for uh, the shield to keep me up um, which is uh, quite beneficial but you'll see soon w Wolf and Saint will run out uh, and I'll do just as well with this without them so it's not like you need um, protection with you all the time to use this weapon it's very 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 good very powerful fast firing which is the uh, the best part about it um, and because it's a uh, a beam as well you can pretty much see where your shots are landing constantly so as long as you line that beam up with an enemy uh, you'll do pretty well but uh, yeah all in all this is probably one of my favorite weapons like I said in the beginning I do love the 4 nail Rosie um, and the Miss Moxie's Viber Pulse which are pretty um, good unique weapons so uh, this is basically a legendary version of that I like the fact that it's always in cryo as well because uh, I do like the cryo weapons they are very Good, uh, it's a very good element to kill enemies with, things like that. So, uh, yeah, all in all, pretty happy with this weapon. I do seriously recommend you getting one. Um, obviously, the best person to use it with is Wilhelm. If you can get um, a good laser uh, build on a Wilhelm, get yourself um, the shield, obviously, that um, boosts laser um, damage, things like that. Prismatic Bulwark, it's called and uh, yeah just generally speaking to the right skills then you'll be pretty much unstoppable with Wilhelm 
but I have tried this with many different characters. I do have one, I think, equipped in every single character I've got. Um, and it's just good to pull out, uh, especially if you need a good hard-hitting laser weapon. If you're running low on ammo for anything else, it's uh, just, you know, a handy thing to have. So, yeah, there you go. I really do recommend this one. Uh, unlike the last laser I reviewed, the Min Min Lighter, um, which got a pretty bad review from me, um, just because of how crap it was. Uh, this is totally the opposite, so uh, yeah, I'll probably go out and say this is probably one of the best legendary lasers in the game. So uh, go and get yourself one if you haven't already. Anyway, that is another Ultimate Vault Hunter Mode Legendary Weapon Guide here on Borderlands The Pre-Sequel. That was the Absolute Zero Laser, and uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, really hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.